In case of a high venous pressure alarm, even if the root cause of the alarm has been solved, alarm can only be reset if the venous pressure falls below 350 millimeters of mercury. Do not press the blood pump or the therapy button on the bottom right corner of the screen. Make sure that the hydrophobic filter connected to the venous pressure sensor connector is dry. To release the high venous pressure within the circuit, locate the infusion port of the venous chamber with blue clamp and blue cap. Ensure that the blue clamp is closed. Remove the blue cap. Connect the infusion port to an empty 30 to 50 milliliter syringe with fully inserted plunger. Open the blue clamp for 1 to 2 seconds to release the pressure into the syringe. The plunger will be pushed out automatically. Close the blue clamp when the plunger reaches approximately 10 to 15 milliliters. Check the venous pressure displayed on the screen. If it is still above 350 millimeters of mercury, open the blue clamp again to release the pressure into the syringe. Close the blue clamp once the venous pressure has fallen below 350 millimeters of mercury. Press reset alarm. The blood pump will restart automatically. In case there is blood in the syringe and shall be returned, press the patient care icon at the right edge of the touch screen. Open the blue clamp. Push the plunger all the way into the syringe to return blood to the venous chamber. Air infused into the venous chamber will be removed by the automatic level regulation. Close the blue clamp and disconnect the syringe. Close the blue cap. Deactivate patient care mode. In case there is blood in the infusion port of the venous chamber, connect a syringe filled with saline to the infusion port. Activate patient care mode. Open the blue clamp. Inject approximately 10 to 15 milliliters of saline to return blood to the venous chamber. Close the blue clamp and disconnect the syringe. Close the blue cap. Deactivate patient care mode. Loosen the effluent pressure line from the effluent port slowly. The venous pressure displayed on the screen will decrease, while the fluid level in the effluent chamber will increase. Tighten the effluent pressure line to the effluent port once venous pressure has fallen below 350 millimeters of mercury. Press reset alarm. The blood pump will restart automatically. Check the fluid level in the effluent chamber. Ideally the chamber should be filled halfway. If fluid level is too high or fluid has entered the pressure line, it should be adjusted. Ensure the blood side and fluid side pumps are running. Press the level button on the screen. Use the spin button to decrease the fluid level in the effluent chamber. Ensure the level in the chamber is not too low as air in the effluent line may lead to false blood leak alarms. 